can you introduce yourself to yes sir first of all thank you so much for giving me this wonderful opportunity to introduce myself my name is sudhir kumar i am coming from prakasham district andhra pradesh coming to my educational details i have completed my bsc in the stream of computer science in the year of 2021 with the aggregate of 78 percentage i have completed my intermediate in kamala junior college and i have completed my ssc in jph high school kaljula padu coming to my strengths strong communication skills and adaptable to any environment i belong to a nuclear family my father is a businessman and my mother is a housewife i have two brothers one one elder brother is working in a job and one younger brother is st- studying in diploma i did one project the project name is school management system for this project i am using different types of technologies like front end and back end technologies back end technologies are nothing but asp.net and adb.net and database sql server front end technologies are nothing but html css and i am using for this project main is hr also i am using for this project coming to my hobbies playing cricket my short term goal is to get a job in a reputed organization and my long term goal is to get a job in higher position in the same organization that's all i put with me this uh, uh, a very nice today uh, it was nice to introduce yourself so uh, after listening to your introduction you said about school management system yes sir so you said you have implemented front end back end and databases right? yes sir so under back end c sharp programming language what did you most important i mean most importantly you used in your oops concept sir okay. because of uh, most of the application we can develop by based on oops concepts okay so, so what are oops concepts yes sir oops concepts are nothing but object oriented programming system is a set of programming languages and uh, the main principles of abstraction and encapsulation polymorphism and inheritance by using oops concept we can implement a, we can create classes and objects and we can also create methods and we can we can also create methods and to handle those objects that's why we can uh, that's the oops concept okay so what is uh, inheritance and what are the types of inheritance we have yes sir inheritance is to create a parent child relationship between two classes and child class will automatically get the properties and methods the base class so four types single inheritance and multiple inheritance multi level inheritance and uh, hierarchical inheritance okay uh, what is constructor why we will use constructors yes sir constructor is a special type of method used constructor we can only declaration of and we can implement the method of also when we will create the constructor when automatically it will create the object of the constructors so what are the types of constructors we have yes sir constructors are three types of constructors default constructor and parameterized constructors so asp dotnet what is the state management under asp dotnet so state management sessions and cookies are nothing but cookies cookies are mostly useful in our web applications cookies are nothing but whenever we client we log in the web page then it will 15 minutes the session time out it will load out automatically cleared out the cache did you implement client side technology side yes sir so why we use javascript what is the necessity for going for javascript yes sir javascript is the mostly widely used in front end technologies what is sql server why we use sql server is yes, a sql server is nothing but structured query language tables format of tables and it relations to each other for between in the each tables so most of the sql server we can use data in the form of tables okay so uh, what are uh, ddl operations language data definition language as containing we can use alter truncate and drop create is nothing but uh, create the database and create the tables so that's why we will use the create command and um, truncate means truncate is used to delete the all the rows and uh, all the columns drop table is the main use for drop the table and schema also enter enter schema is also deleted what is the difference between drop and truncate yes sir truncate is the concepts of may you can use delete the all the rows from the entire table but will not delete the schema and uh, drop we can be used it will delete the all the rows and enter delete the schema also what is the difference between delete and truncate uh, delete the rows uh, based on where condition and the truncate is nothing but delete all the rows from the table enter table what is uh, self join when we use it yes sir self join is nothing but join to table itself yeah so join to one itself okay so why we are going for mvc yes sir mvc is nothing but modal view controller mvc is also a framework in the back end is nothing but modal view controller modal represents the data and view displays the data and controller 
view and model so the main purpose of the controller is used to inter interact with the model and view okay when you are going for uh, accessing data yes sir. so from database okay sir. so we will be writing adgo.net code yes sir. so what is the thing you will be writing firstly in order to establish yes sir firstly we will create the connection between the adgo.net and sql server by using web.configuration file in the web web.configuration files we can implement the connection strings in the between data source and uh, database name and uh, integrated security use connection oriented between adgo.net and sql server you can also connecting to the two ways sql server authentication and uh, windows authentication function yes sir. function is nothing but database object it, it can only accept input and input parameters must be written in the written value okay. what is trigger triggers are stored programs which are automatically get the properties executed or fired when some event like insert update delete occur yes, so it was nice 